Well, hello everyone. How are you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to a new episode of the FIFA 19 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. This is episode number 159. And if you missed the last episode, we got our base icon. You can find that in the top right corner. However, if you just want to see who we got, it's on screen right now. As you can see, we unfortunately, I, I don't know if it's super unfortunate, we got an 85 rated Gianfranco Zola. It's definitely not as good as it could have been, but it's not as bad as it could have been either. So I'll definitely take that. But like I mentioned in the last episode, basically this player gives me an option to throw that into like the Nedved SBC, which is a good, well-priced uh, squad building challenge. Uh, and it takes up around a half of that cost. If and when the market comes back down a little bit after the current promo. I've got around sort of 18 days to complete the Nedbed SBC. So I probably need to come up with around two to 300,000 coins by then. I don't know how I'm going to do that. But it's a challenge and I like a challenge. So, uh, and if not, and if we can't get it done. And if we have nowhere near the amount of coins. Then we still have this this Zola for uh, for the near future i guess so i went through my club and sold some of the bronze players that were in like good leagues or ones that were selling at the time and stuff just so we could recoup some coinage because the club was obviously quite empty right now up to 67 nearly 70,000 coins again which i'll take um but i wanted to go into rivals because i needed to boost up my rank um and i know you're watching this like later in the week but obviously i'm recording this ahead of time i've mentioned it in a couple of videos already um but i need to prepare for a uh, an upcoming trip that I've got which is going to be throughout next week so the road to glory might actually be a little bit sort of shifted it will be the rewards will be shifted a few days the weekend league you'll probably see into next week and stuff sorry about that but I figured by doing this and having some content it's better than a week with no content right um and there might also be a couple of other types of videos going up instead of the Road to Glory, but only one or two of them. So uh, please, please don't hate me if you don't get your daily fix for a couple of days. Uh, so in this first game right here, basically today was to, to test out Zola. Let's let's see how he is, and then I promise you I'll use him in the weekend league as well, which is what I, I said I was going to do before I even opened my base icon pack. Even if we got like... I don't know, one of the worst centre-backs or a terrible goalkeeper or something like that. I said that I would use him in the weekend league. So, uh, fortunately, we got someone that I think is quite usable. Now, obviously, we went unbeaten in the weekend league. And we are winning in this game right here. I get through with Zola and score that. What a goal. And I'm just like, hell yeah. I think he might be quite good. Uh, and so, that, that was basically the idea was to test him out. See if he's actually a good, usable player. Um, I'm not going to lie. That was a good strike. I stuck a dead eye chemistry style on him. I figured his like 90 pace and 91 dribbling or whatever it is, 92 pace maybe, whatever those stats are, are good enough. I don't feel like I need to boost them. But if we can add anything to the shooting and passing stats, which we most certainly are doing by using dead eye, it's going to be good, you know? So that, that's exactly what I did. And hopefully we'll notice that he's just someone who's got like 90 pace, 90 dribbling, 90 shooting, 90 passing. That's the idea anyway. So this guy makes it 3-2. I've pushed Zola out wide at this stage of the game. Uh, and he whips a lovely ball in to um, Aubameyang who can just volley that one home. So we restore a two-goal lead. And it looks as though we're going to go for our 15th match unbeaten. It might even be more than that. I can't remember where how we did towards the end of like the week before last weekend league. Um, where, uh, where we were in either rivals or something. I can't remember how we did. But basically, this guy gets a goal back right at the end. And it doesn't matter. Because we're in extra time anyway. We're like in injury time. So I can just hold out the game. And win 4-3. And get a good amount of rivals points. You know that's a 4 goals win. Is like 860 points or something. Which is very very nice. The maximum you can get is 950. But we didn't quite score that 5th goal. Um, and as you can see that boosts us up to rank number 2. Which is what I want to go for this week. It seems as though rivals points are coming down and down and down week on week. Uh, but. If we can, because we played some rivals before the weekend league last weekend, we were already at a decent amount. If I can get a good few wins on the trot here, it can boost us up into rank number two, which is <laughs> a lot more packs or better packs than, than rank number three. <coughs> Sorry, there is something in my throat. So I go into my next match after being... Thoroughly impressed by Zola in his first game, in his debut, or on his debut, should I say. Um, and this guy was just like, he was sharp off the block. He was very, 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 
like high pressure, uh, making lots of good runs, having a good few attacks, and he actually goes 1-0 up against me. And I'm like, okay, probably the unbeaten streak ends here, especially when that happens, but actually I managed to get the goal afterwards. I thought we were going to get unlucky, strike the inside of the post, and the goalkeeper just picks it up, but we got very lucky to equalise there. Uh, Arnautovic then with the header, but what a save that is from De Gea. Uh, normally we score them. Uh, pretty much like 95% of the time. I then play it into Zola, strike the ball, and it has a lot of power on it. His low-driven shots seem really good, and he scores another goal for us. In his second game, he scores his second goal. So we're 2-1 up. We turn this game around. Arnautovic then plays it through to the little tricky Italian once again. A nice ball through into Aubameyang, and he gets an assist as well. He's actually playing outstandingly well right now, so I'm loving it, you know? He's, he seems like a pretty Pretty good player I'm not gonna lie I've always looked at the Zola cards on FIFA 19 and thought they've actually got quite good stats but I know he's very short and I know that he, his stamina is probably not amazing and stuff and he's obviously very very weak um but he kind of he's 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 cutting it right now he's doing the business and I'm enjoying him so that's probably the main thing maybe it's just because he's a new player he's an icon in our squad and stuff that's why I'm enjoying him and I also just realized that we packed, when we packed an icon in our weekly rewards once, it was an Italian, it was Vieri. When we packed our uh, loan icon moments player, it was Del Piero. And then we packed Zola. I've only packed, I've only packed Italians, I think. Oh no, no. We also got a three match loan on a icon once from a weekly objective or something. And we packed Skulls. So yeah, we have packed someone other than than an Italian, but uh, I, I wouldn't mind like a little French one at some point or something, get a little Vieira or Henri or something, that'd be brilliant, you know, but we'll see how the rest of this FIFA goes, you never know <coughs> when your luck's going to strike or when it isn't, so... This game right here, the guy had a mega squad, he had a very good team, he had... Uh, he had 89 Steven Gerrard, he had Baby R9, which I imagine he probably packed from the SBC, so uh, lucky him. He also had Red Cancelo, Red Alexandro, Ronaldo, Neymar, so he was playing with two Ronaldos on his squad. Uh, I get it through and score another goal with Zola. He just gets in the right place at the right time and a lovely low driven strike once again to take it past the goalkeeper. So, he is being a very tricky little player and is doing great for us right now. Uh, my opponent whips it back stick from the kickoff, but a good save from that header. Uh, Petr Cech has been pretty solid for me so far, I'm not going to lie. He's actually made a couple of very, very nice saves. I missed an opportunity there. I'm, I keep trying these low drivens with Zola, but uh, it didn't quite work out for us that time. Pick the ball up with Militao, play it into Gianfranco, whip it back stick, and it is Ronaldo to score. So, not only is Zola creating goals, he's scoring them as well getting the assist it's it's a good partnership at the moment he replacing Bobby Firmino he seems like he's got more he's obviously got more pace and more agility and stuff and it's a uh, kind of good my my attack is very much tall players winning headers and stuff so it's nice to have a very tricky little winger uh, or a tricky little uh, attacker should I say he's not a winger at all he's central but I also bring on Alejandro Gomez at half time uh, and then score a header and that guy with that team, he quits. And I'm like, what? How How on earth have I, one, beaten him 3-0? And two, how has he quit with that squad? Damn, he should be better than that. I don't know. Maybe he was having a bad day. But we are in Division 3 now. I'm probably at my highest skill rating ever. I am probably playing the best FIFA I've played so far this year. It seems like we're kind of getting into it, getting into this patch. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I guess I've uh, kind of... I wouldn't say mastered it as such, of course, because I'm still a very average player. But um, we seem to have settled into this patch better than we have done in previous patches and stuff. Uh, you know, even coming up against good teams like the one I'm up against now, I kind of feel like I can win. Which I would normally in rivals be like, oh, here's another loss then. If I go one or two nil down, I might just quit. Um, but yeah, something's kind of clicking for us right now. And you know when the luck's with you, when in this current patch, you score a first time finesse shot. In off the post, it wasn't timed. But um, if you remember the graph that EA tweeted out of all the hundred times they take that shot, obviously some of them go in, uh, most of them go over or wide or, you know, just dribble into the ground and stuff but uh it kind of worked out for us that time and that is what takes us to a 1-0 lead at half time this guy was good on the ball though but he was also very very deep uh, with his defense and he was very much an ai defender as well he was just 
jogging back with his midfielder. I could basically sit on the edge of his box all game, and he wouldn't come out to try and tackle me. It was very odd. We whip this one in towards Ronaldo. Doesn't quite make anything of it this time. Uh, and eventually he gets a counter-attack where he gets one-on-one -on -one with Neymar uh, and just blasts it over. Uh, I think I try and move my goalkeeper. I might fail at doing that, but it doesn't matter because the ball goes over anyway. I then get through with Ronaldo, and how unfortunate is it that we hit the inside of the post there? This time around, we don't get the second go at it. We don't get to just tap it home. Uh, it is defended and cleared away nicely. So a 1-0 win at the moment is, is feeling kind of tense. You know, he could break with his attackers and score. However, I could just score a second header uh, or an, a header in this in this game to, to go 2-0 up. And basically, this guy was bringing his team of the year, Varane, to the front post for every corner. So I just whipped it in the mixer, in the penalty spot zone, uh, and managed to get a pretty much a free header with CR7 there uh, to make it 2-0. Alejandro Gomez nearly scores a worldie of a half volley. Uh, and then when Ibra finally tucks it into the back of the net, uh, just sort of softly heads it home, it was unfortunately offside. So I clear his final attack, and that is that. We are uh, four games unbeaten in rivals this, this week and 14 games unbeaten in, in the weekend league. So I'm on a bit of a streak right now, and it's feeling good. My team is gelling nicely. I've obviously got a nice squad. It was, good. It was really good to test out both David Luiz and Zola today, and actually also Eder Militao as a left back. He's not ideal because he does only have a two-star weak foot, and I tend to do like a curved pass up the wing with my fullbacks. Um, and that's not obviously going to cut it. It's not going to cut the mustard, but uh, so far it's working. He obviously deals with back post headers quite well. And if I do what I normally do, which is bring on Da Costa as a sub, I can put him at fullback, bring Eder Militao into that CDM spot where I've liked him before. Uh, or, of course, we could play David Luiz in CDM and Eder Militao at centre-back. So I've got options right now. Love in Zola, three goals and five assists in the four games that we've played today. All against tough opponents in rivals. It's been good. We are doing well right now. Um, obviously, we're we're shifting the the content. You know, as, like the rewards might not be there. There might be tomorrow's episode. They might also be the episode after that. So I do apologise if that is the case. It just depends on what content comes out throughout the week. But obviously, we've got a job on our hands. We have a challenge that we're sitting at around seventy thousand coins. I reckon we're going to need three hundred thousand coins, maybe a little bit more after. Um, Nedved drops in price somewhat once uh, once the market comes back down and like 84s and 85s aren't stupid money I think we're going to somehow need to make another probably 250,000 uh, to top us up to enough to do this Nedved SBC um, yeah, so whether or not we can make that happen, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but guys, do me a favor. Smash that thumbs up button. Zola's great. David Luiz is superb. I really like him as well. Glad we brought him into the fold. Um, a few days ago, I didn't think I was going to be able to do either of those SBCs. And we've done a base icon. We've done flashback Luiz. Uh, and of course, I will do my very best to maybe try and get some other content uh, as and when what comes out this week. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed the video. Smash a like, subscribe, come follow me on Twitter. Instagram, all of that good stuff. Most importantly, have a lovely day, everyone, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.